We are very excited to have uh, all the guests uh, coming from abroad, both Europe and across the African continent. I don't live in the Netherlands. I'm originally from Cameroon. I'm from Lesotho. I'm from Poland. I'm from South Africa. I come from Poland, Warsaw, from University of Music. So this is a high jam pack program, 10 days, discovering what South African businesses encounter in their struggles to understand their impacts of climate change, invasive species and whatnot, on running their businesses from fisheries to shellfish, oyster farmers to uh, invasive species from as far as Australia and how to um, turn a problem into a solution. It's just a lot of students and a lot of ideas and solutions together and hopefully make the world a little bit better with our ideas. Basically we're given problem cases to solve within 10 days and give possible solutions for these problems. The last week was filled with many excursion, trips, sightseeing, but also you know experiencing much of important stuff. And it's not only about the project that we're working on, but also like developing ourselves. I'm excited to network and meet everyone, and I'm hoping we have fun and learn new stuff. Our group is trying to make bioenergy out of invasive species. So we went to Stellenbosch's Forestry and Wood Science building. So then we had a lecture there and then we went to also the Geoinformatics department at Stellenbosch. Yeah, we got to ask questions, find out a bit more about our problem and how to solve it. Ideathon is a marathon of ideas. So we were working on so many different topics. We were working on solutions for sustainable microbreweries. We were working on solutions related to sustainable transport, sustainable uh, shellfish, kelp management, air quality monitoring, and invasive species identification. The combination of networking, a lot of networking, a lot of like brass, so barbecues, where we can talk about our ideas. We can share things that we learned Today, for a lot of people here, the Cape Town is a completely different city, completely different people, completely different culture. I am a urban agriculture farmer and owner of AfriLeap that grows fresh with premium hop and rooftops in Johannesburg. How's it, guys? Welcome to Woodstock Brewery. Thanks for the opportunity to feature with your program. So the whole point of closed environment agriculture is to trick the plant into thinking days are longer, and then we use blackout netting to make the interior of the farm black as dark, like you can't even see your hand in front of your hand, to trick it to think that days are shorter. So during the flowering stages, they, they, they accelerate their growth. So here at the Ideathon, uh, participants are gonna try and help my business. I really like your business model, but how about scaling this up into a, like a bigger business? We're trying to kind of blend the science with education, with community engagement in a way that, you know, we're using some of the research that we're doing on the biodiversity of the kelp forests to get people involved, to, to learn kind of basic scientific method, but to inspire and show them what's right here on their doorstep. We are fish, fish hunting. <laughs> and we're, we're looking for sharks. we doing snorkeling in the science. I'm excited to see some small and big shots. <laughs> the project that we were out collecting data for today is a remote sensing project where we need ground truthing data and then we're going to use that in addition to satellite imagery and, and map kelp. And so in our discussion this morning, there was a lot of overlap with what some of the students are doing in their own work with detecting and categorizing things with remote sensing. Um, but what was most valuable to me actually was some of the feedback from the students in giving me ideas from their own work. And so one of our challenges has been uh, how do we deal with the quality of some of these images that we get from satellites and the presence of atmosphere or cloud. And I had a solution presented to me that I hadn't really thought about. It was pretty amazing to see a wildlife uh, with your own eyes. I, I seen such things usually on like BBC documentaries or something like this. It's my first time in South Africa. I'm really invested in the variety of nature, but also the people here are really, are really friendly. I didn't expect that much of friendliness. I'm really glad that I'm here. I want to thank you, Valentine and the European Commission. Everything is organized perfectly. I mean, I very enjoy coming to South Africa. It was a di completely different world for me. It's, it has been amazing. You get to learn about how remote sensing can be used for different problems. Seeing and experiencing all of this variety of things in a completely new country is something so unusual for me but also so fun that I'm really happy that I'm here. Programs like this should be normalized. It should not be like a once-off thing. It should be something that happens from grassroots level so that everyone becomes this, a bigger part of this whole thing and help our Earth.